Hi there, Alexi Lubomirsky here. Um, hope you're okay. We're all alone and quarantined and self-isolation, self-reflection, getting to know ourselves, getting to know our family members a little bit better. Um, I wanted to tell you about another one of my little tricks that I've had uh, for many years that have helped, that's helped me so much, uh, and that is writing. Uh, the act of writing has been such a, um, an amazing blessing and a tool to use in my life. So for example, uh, in my 20s I used to write a journal or a diary, whatever you want to call it, and you know when you're in your 20s you're going through a lot, mentally, emotionally, physically, you're changing, you're, 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 you're a young adult, you are still behaving like a teenager but you're supposed to be an adult. Um, and there's lots of insecurities, lots of emotional upheaval, uh, trying to figure out who you are as a person. And writing my journal was one of the best ways to navigate the 20s because it allowed, you know, you're thinking so much, there's so much in your head going on uh, emotions, thoughts, regrets, wishes, etc., etc. And so the great thing about writing was that as soon as you put pen to paper you have to only have one thought going funneling from, you, from your brain through the pen. So it, it allows you to uh, regulate what you're thinking about. So I would start off writing about one particular uh, concern, one particular worry, one particular thing, one wish, one regret, and I would write it down. And that would allow it to come out in one stream of one thought rather than this crazy going on in my head so I highly recommend writing a journal because the amount of things that you can discover about yourself uh, is amazing now I also know that when I've suggested this to people they say to me oh my god how can I write a journal I don't know what to say in a journal what am I gonna write down and they s always say the same thing start off with just one sentence write down how you feel it could be anything. I feel, I feel stupid. I feel ridiculous writing this journal. I feel upset. I feel frustrated. Uh, I'm angry. Full stop. Period. Then, for the second sentence, write down why you think you're feeling that way. What caused you to feel that way? Or why do you think you're feeling that way? So I'm frustrated because I can't go outside. I'm stuck in my apartment with my annoying partner. Um, whatever it is. And gradually, even if you only write a couple of sentences on the first day or the second day, that's all you need to write. But then gradually, you'll start to thread the sentences longer and longer and longer, and you'll start to create more of a vocabulary with yourself. And you can see that you start off with one sentence, and it can start to really just uh, expand into a whole conversation with yourself. And this can all come out in single thoughts, because you can only write one thing at a time. And um, it can be an incredibly useful tool. Uh, I have, I stopped writing journals uh, simply because my writing sort of transformed into more of um, writing prose and writing poetry, which is now my, my therapy, so to speak. Uh, as soon as I feel an emotion or strongly about something, I will go and write it down. It will either come out in a poem or it will come out in prose, and that's my way of venting and uh, releasing my emotions, my feelings. Um, the other great thing about writing is lists. Lists, lists, lists. I love a list. Um, now the great thing about lists, even if you're not a list person, I'll tell you the huge benefit of it. And this has allowed me to have so many ideas, do so much stuff in my life, uh, is because I write down anything I think of, I write it down. So I've got to do this, or a project I want to do, or an idea I want to do, a creative idea, a poem I want to write, things I want to do for my parents, things I want to do for my wife and my children, anything write it down and the reason is because as soon as you write it down you can delete it from your memory banks because it's written down safe on your list now the great thing about deleting it from your memory banks is that then you have more space for new stuff to come in so the more you get out and you write down the more stuff can come in and so I you find yourself becoming once you get good at it you'll become an idea factory stuff will keep churning in, you churn it out, you write it down, you cross it off, and that can be hugely productive. It can make your productivity go up, you know, 10 times as much, um, because you're not, and also you don't have to constantly, there's always a section in your brain 
where you're worried about forgetting something. It's like, I've got to pay that bill. I've got to tell my wife of this. And you constantly, there's always a little portion of your brain that is employed by yourself to remember that. I don't want to forget it, I don't want to forget it. Write it down on a piece of paper. Write it down on your master list. And then you can forget about it. And you can then, when you have a moment, you go to your list and think, right, what have I got to do? I love going to my list. So I've got, if I have a down moment, I go straight to my list and I start reading off what to do. And you get very productive and um, you can become very annoying because you end up doing so much that you wanted to do. And it's very satisfying, but very annoying for other people to watch because you're so productive. Um, so that's it. I hope you uh, are able to find some time to do some writing. Um, I highly recommend the writing down your feelings thing. Even if you think you're feeling fine, write it down. Say, today I feel fine. Why do you feel fine? And you can keep writing. And uh, it's a beautiful process and it can do a world of good. So um, that's it. I hope you get time to write and um, I'll see you soon.